Well, one of the largest gatherings yet of the 2020 presidential candidates is happening right now at a hip music and technology gathering. The South by Southwest Conference in Texas is a convergence of leaders in multiple industries. And this year, it's also a very big draw for White House contenders. Ed O'Keefe reports from Austin. Several people running for president are still thinking about it or here this weekend, crashing a party better known as a music festival and technology conference. It's giving candidates an excuse to talk up ideas on how to regulate big tech companies and protect Americans' privacy online. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren came here with a plan to break up some of the world's largest technology companies. To be able to compete on a level playing field is taken away by these platform giants. Under her plan, Facebook would have to drop the messaging service WhatsApp and the photo sharing site Instagram. Google would have to cut ties to navigation tool Waze and Amazon would have to head to the return counter and drop its purchase of Whole Foods. The monopolist will make fewer monopoly profits. Boo hoo. These companies also would be barred from sharing users' personal data with other entities. Minnesota Democratic Senator and presidential candidate Amy Klobuchar is another longtime critic of large tech companies, but she's focused instead on regulating existing companies by imposing a personal data tax. So the idea being that if Amazon or Target or Facebook decided to share it or sell it in some way, that that exchange right there should be taxed. It should be taxed. You shouldn't be taxed. They should be taxed. So if they start sharing your data in a big way, we should start taxing them for that. And that money should go back to consumers, either to protect cybersecurity or to bring down our debt. Also in Austin, Howard Schultz, the former Starbucks CEO, still thinking about an independent bid for president. He says the tech policy ideas from Warren, Klobuchar, and other Democrats are impractical. We don't have to break up these companies. We need to discuss with the leaders of those companies their responsibility uh, to the American people, responsibility about privacy issues. The conversations with presidential candidates continue on Sunday. One of the reasons that Democrats especially are eager to be here, a recent poll of Texas voters found that President Trump is essentially tied with a hypothetical Democratic opponent in 2020. Rena? Ed O'Keefe at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin. Thank you, Ed.